Alright, welcome back to another video on my channel, Loud and Out, what's up? Two quick topics today, tell you what, I've got a bonus one just to hit on because I thought it was cool. First off, I want to talk to you about Hyundai, you know, that Korean company that doesn't make too much of a splash in the automotive world, but when they do, it's pretty surprising. You've seen the Genesis Coupe, you've seen the Equus that came out in 2009, we'll tell you what, now they're coming out with their own luxury brand, or luxury, sort of premium luxury line called Genesis. Their first car is going to include something called the G90. In Korea, it's known as the EQ900. It's the first of six different models. The other are going to include a coupe, a couple other smaller models, and then an SUV and crossover. So this G90 that's coming out next year is going to have three different engine variants. First being a twin turbo 3.3 liter V6, the second being a 3.8 liter V6, and the fourth being the powerhouse of 5 liter V8. It's going to come out with an estimated $62,000 to $100,000 price tag. It's got some pretty interesting safety features that include pedestrian detection, active blind spots, smart posture carrying system. I don't know. I, I couldn't really figure out what that meant or was. But anyways, it's got a bunch of things to sort of reduce driver fatigue, which is sort of the direction the entire automotive industry is taking. First steps being with, I mean, Tesla made the huge jump with their autonomous driving and now Hyundai is going to come out with an autonomous braking system to catch pedestrians in the crosswalk just so you don't I mean go flying through them like you're playing Grand Theft Auto 5 or something but yeah that's really messed up but anyways so the next thing I'd like to talk to you about is Lamborghini it's not a huge you know burning thing right now it's not even a big deal because I personally can't afford one many people can't afford a Lamborghini but I just thought it was interesting so Lamborghini has the Aventador and the Aventador is an all-wheel drive 700 horsepower powerhouse that is pretty cool now many people have raised the question are they gonna be coming out with a real wheel drive of Aventador and the answer is no. Simply because Lamborghini doesn't feel like it'd be a smart decision because they say it takes away from the driver experience and it sort of can't really work with all their electronics and a lot of their safety stuff. So I mean to me it kind of sounds more of a we don't really feel like it but th there could be some truth in that and for now I guess we still have the Huracan which we can drool over because they came out with a real wheel drive variant of that. However, it's got a little bit less horsepower, but to contradict that, they took down some weight, so it's still, I'm assuming, a pretty fun car to drive. I've only ever driven a Gallardo, thanks to my girlfriend. And now for the bonus topic. This one goes out more for our European friends because we don't really have Peugeot in the States unless you import one for some god unforsaken reason. Anyways, this is a pretty cool one that could be coming out and we could see in the near future. As of right now, all we can really get for fun hybrids are nothing, really. Unless you have a lot of money to afford a McLaren P1, LaFerrari, or even a 918. But at this point, if you're looking for a hybrid, you're going to have to settle for something such as a Prius, maybe a Chevy Volt, or a Honda Insight. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but they're just not considered performance vehicles. Now, Peugeot is going to be taking a huge jump in the right direction, and it's in that performance direction with the 308R hybrid. And this car is really cool and they're expecting it to have about 500 horsepower and that's all I can say for now Enjoy the pictures. That's all for now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up If you have a Twitter account, go ahead and click the link down below to follow me on Twitter. Hey, I'll catch you next time Thanks for watching